This is CBS 11 News Now. It's News Now, our digital update. I'm Matt Yurst, live in our Fort Worth studios. This girl's varsity soccer coach at Rockwell Heath High School is on administrative leave this morning after the district learned about this photo making the rounds on social media. It shows the coach who teaches sign language, oh, the irony, posing with players as they flash middle fingers to the camera. Trust me, they're under those blurred images there. In a statement, the district called the photo, quote, disturbing and says it does not reflect the culture of the school or the team. As for the students in the photo, the district would only say that it took appropriate action, but would not specify what that was. Marianne Martinez will have the full story in our evening newscast. Stay tuned. Larry Nasser, the disgraced former gymnastics doctor who has admitted to molesting girls who were his patients, was in court again today for yet another trial in which he pleaded guilty. This one centers on his assaults on athletes from the elite Twist Stars Gymnastics Club, Randall Margraves, the father of three victims, had a request for the judge. Take a listen. If you have some words that you would like to say, I would like to give you the opportunity to say them. I would ask you to, as part of the sentencing, to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this <laughs> demon. I have would a you do that? I, I, that is not yes how our... No. no, sir, I can't Would you give me that. one minute? I, <laughs> You know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal system well, works. Later this morning, the judge announced that she will not punish Margraves for his run at Nasser. She also said it is wrong to combat assault with assault. Nice hard turn here, moving to weather. What's the latest? What do we have going on here? Wow, it's hard to follow that story. Um, we are talking about Groundhog Day. <laughs> Six more weeks to win right here. <laughs> so he says. So, but I found this out. So, uh, Pakistani Phil, he 85% of the time sees his shadow. So, but he's usually wrong. He's 180 million <laughs> years old, so let's give him a break. I okay. know the dude, he really is. He's over 100 years old. Did you know that? I, I knew this, and the only reason I knew this was yesterday we did a little historical report on Poxitani Phil. Yes. Uh, started in 1887. Of the 130, it's the 132nd anniversary of it, 109 or so of them, he has uh, seen his shadow. That means six more weeks of winter. Um, no, I got that a little bit wrong. I'm missing these. Anyway, 10 were not reported. <laughs> Almost all of them, they didn't, he saw his shadow, we're getting more winter. And then there was a select few where he had good news for those who don't like winter. Right, right. So I, I after years in the Midwest, and you've been up in the Northeast, um, especially those winters, I was just dying to, to have him not see his shadow. <laughs> not that as a meteorologist, I really put too much stock in it, but it's still fun. I don't get why uh, back in 1887, they didn't move the date to say March 1. I mean, <laughs> January, we don't need shadows. I mean, you know, yeah, we, we got the deal. I guess they just want, you know, February. It's like, how much longer of this do we have? By March, you're at least hopeful, you know, you're, you're, Moving past it. You know what? You've convinced me. I was actually talking to my 92 year old grandfather last What's night, that? longtime New Yorker. Yeah. And he was excited about February because he felt like the worst of the winter was behind him. Right. Which I completely disagree. I'm sure he'll get a foot of snow I in a week. <laughs> <laughs> that part of the country, yeah, I would say you got some more to go. But um, it's fine it, regardless. Across Texas, North Texas, if, if he were here, I think he may have seen the shadow too. Uh, depending on where he is, we do have some heavy clouds in the region. So as we take a look right now, heavy Heavy clouds are still across North Texas. And then as we go back in time to this morning around uh, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, you can see there was this little window, 6 to 7 o'clock, where they had some clear sky. And then, boom, clouds come in. And how ironic that the snow came in, too, of course, after he 
tells us that six more weeks of winter are on the way. <laughs> so uh, that's what he's seeing, and that's what that means, seeing the shadow six more weeks. Uh, but we'll cross our fingers. Maybe it's not going to be that long here in North Texas. As far as our temperatures go, we do have some cool temperatures with the clouds that are in play. Look at the numbers right now. You probably walked out this morning and thought, where did this come from? Um, but that cold front from yesterday brought in some drier air, so overnight we fell a lot more. And we've just not been able to recover yet because we haven't gotten a lot of sun. I think we'll get more afternoon sun and temperatures will pop into the low to mid 50s today. And warming up this week, and I'm golfing. Warming here. up? You got some golf plans? You, uh, always. Yeah. I, I live a, a pretty you know, boring <laughs> life. Golf, work, maybe the gym. I think that's Occasional adult cool. beverage. Only one, though, kids. Just uh, one. Okay. I've got some breaking news hitting the desk. Uh oh. Shoot it to us straight. What we got? History of. <laughs> Poxitani Phil. Okay. 103 times he has seen his shadow. Oh my goodness. So winter stays through February. Who knew? I say that tongue in cheek. No shadows. 18 times. And no record at all since the start in 1887. They just didn't keep it. it was nine times. Here enters a little bit of a controversy, though. I have read elsewhere 10 times. And if you add this up, it doesn't quite equal the anniversary of the number we're on. So I feel like there's a little bit of so a discrepancy. It's either nine mm -hmm. or 10, no records. Folks at home, if you know this, get this figured out because um, I'm dying to know. Absolutely dying to know. How long has this been going on? It's fun too. Other, other places have different rodents that they use. Oh, really? Yeah. First of all, Let's, Poxitani Phil has a name, not rodent, but what are the other rodents? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I, I should have pulled this up. It's actually back in a, a, our other Max 2. There we go. They read my mind. Uh, but you can see what some of the other names are. Uh, Staten Island Chuck, Thistle, the Whistle Pig in Ohio, or yeah, in Ohio. Um, and I know that I was actually talking to Dallas, the Dallas Sioux the other day. And I was, I was asking, do you guys have a, a groundhog or do you do anything with this day? They said that before the groundhog, there was actually the use of a hedgehog here. And they do have some hedgehogs. Wow, okay. So if you're headed out to the zoo this weekend, take a look. But the hedgehog uh, was one, the one. One more quick story. because I see New Oh, we they just took the graphic down. I saw New York on the list. Uh-huh. We were just uh, reminiscing with some of our colleagues in New York at the CBS New York local station up there. And they were telling us that in 2013 or 2014, on Groundhog Day, the mayor held up the groundhog and dropped the groundhog. No! Yes. Oh, no! The groundhog was returned oh. to the petting zoo where it was oh, no. <laughs> receiving some special love and. Poor guy! Died. No! Yeah, I got to the. I really. Matt, wait, I really put I know, a camera on this I day. went there pretty quick. I'm told the wow. mayor at the time released a statement. This story gets better, folks. Essentially saying that, yes, while the groundhog was dropped, or whatever the rodent was, it, there's no proof that it died, didn't die from anything but natural causes. Uh -huh. So the sure office there, the mayor's sure office, has wiped his hands from that, <laughs> and uh, we're moving on, and have a great weekend. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm laughing and I'm crying. I don't know what to do with yeah, this story. It's, uh, wow, it's tough. that's a... That's a sad one. Okay. Well, we good here? I gotta make one last here. hard turn here before we split. <laughs> Go I, ahead. These are really tough. <laughs> one last note. The controversial House, House Intelligence Memo dealing with the FBI and DOJ surveillance practices has been released. We will have more on that in the evening's newscast. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching CBS 11, the ones for Texas. For the latest updates, head to CBSDFW.com. This has been CBS 11 News Now. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest local news and weather.